Hey Aries, welcome to your general monthly reading for October. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. Please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and comment below, let me know what your thoughts are. Also, let me know where you're from. I love knowing where you guys are from. I think it's so cool that the internet can connect so many of us, okay? I am an Aries sun and um, Venus, so if I act like an Aries sun and Venus, know that it comes from a place of love, okay? Towards you. Yo, your guys' mid-monthly reading for September, I was just like, it was a lot, so hopefully we'll have better shit going on for you in October. I'm not saying that it was bad, it was just like a, you know when we're in avoidance of dealing with our shit and you know, Aries is always like, I'm the emperor, there's nothing wrong with me, I tell you what to do, okay, I'm in control of everything. Uh, like a real um like i even had to have a moment to myself and be like "Ooh, are there any of the messages here for me as well mm. all right let's take a peek and see what's going on i'm using a new deck it's the moon child tarot from danielle noel i fucking love it it'll be in the description box below if you're interested okay like obviously we are talking here and we are getting juicy stuff okay wow Okay, so normally I don't do two cards for the energy uh, like that is overarching your entire month of October, but clearly these two were just like, here it is, take it. Three of Pentacles to Four of Pentacles. So I do like that there is progression in your finances, but mm, fuck. Okay, please don't let this be a bad reading. Um, hang tight, don't leave, don't leave just yet. Maybe there's hope. Okay, but here's what I'm gonna say to you. While you celebrate and understand that collaboration supports your financial growth, okay? And that doesn't mean that you need to rely on other people for you to be financially abundant, but sometimes working together actually benefits both parties. And here I do feel like working with other females, if you are a female, will benefit you greatly, okay? This is about collaboration, working together, understanding that sometimes different people have different strengths and all together, you're able to create so much more than you would if you were on your own. But then we move on to this four of pentacles. And the first thing I got from this imagery was one, oh fuck, I wonder if the shadow work card is gonna come out and I'm gonna ask you how much shadow work have you been doing lately? And two, let me know in the comments below. And two, where are you still dealing with some of your self-sabotaging, lack of self-belief, lack of self-awareness, and lack of self-love? Where are you still not choosing to be vulnerable, right? Because look, look, look at the imagery of this woman, okay? This may be a little bit triggering for some people. Do you see how she has her hands around her throat? So you go from celebration, happiness to, oh. So it's like, Aries, maybe you're feeling like you're afraid to speak your truth. Maybe you're feeling like you're afraid that these people that you are coming into partnership with, not romantically, I'm talking like friends or business, um, you know, are going to talk bad about you. But it's all like, it's literally all like fear based. Fear, 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 fear. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want anybody to hurt me. I don't want people to like come after me. Like, you know, we are such alpha energy, whether you're a male or female watching this, but internally we're big mushes. And we don't like letting people know that. But that's who we are. Okay, let's see what else we got for the month, okay? If you are interested in a private reading, check out the description box below. I offer live one-on-ones and also pre-recorded readings. So that's all in the description box, as well as where to find me across social media, okay? So the three general, the moon, the page of swords. Oh my God, this moon card is stunning. Can you see it? We're gonna get into it in just a minute. Because this is a new tarot deck, sometimes I do need to refer back to the book for some things because you know, I can pick up intuitively. I've already started researching and reading the cards, but sometimes, and more importantly, I don't wanna miss anything. That's too many. I just need one more, please. Just one more, please. Okay, I don't do reversal, six of swords. Page of swords, six of swords. Yeah, yeah. The fear, the illusions the unknown, the metamorphosis. This is also Cancerian energy. The Page of Swords 
getting clear in your mind space, okay? Separating the bullshit. Feeling like you need to be like on alert and prepared. Who, who's gonna who's gonna wrong me now? Who's gonna say something that I'm not gonna like? Who's gonna try and get under my gears? Who the fuck is coming after me now, right? And see how I even did this? Like it's almost like, err. And a lot of this energy could very well be because we are in Mars retrograde until the middle of November. I wanna say November 13th. And then Six of Swords. Okay, you know what? I need to chill off, of, chill off on the mind space. I'm too much in my head. I'm too much playing my own games, my own self-sabotaging, my own, you know, I'm my being my own worst enemy. It's time for me to like now move on and get clarity and focus. Like there's that shadow. It's like you didn't get the shadow work card yet, but you did get, look, see in the Six of Swords, she's like the darkness, the shadow, and then the light. Okay, and then the Page of Swords, notice how the background is all barren. You know, I would really encourage you to get yourself some rainbow angel aura quartz or some amethyst, okay, and start doing some work with your third eye. Your third eye will help you see the truth for what it is, not for what your mental space is having you see it as, which can sometimes be very debilitating and that's exactly the word I just heard see how the background's so barren but she does have that purple aura of protection and the sword is right out of third eye let me pull up the definition of the moon let's see if there's something else we can pick up here that I um you know that can add to this reading thanks so much for your patience as I read the books so I know like your girl can't memorize everything immediately I just got this deck The, moon. There we go. the cyclical here i'll let you see the imagery so you can really like zoom into what it's saying the cyclical magic of the moon glows and transmutes into the hands of the goddess here she works with its light being deeply in tune with its secrets mysteries and perpetual rhythm the spirit familiars of the shifting ages rest on our side connecting to the intuitive mysterious and subconscious realm mystery intuition imagination shadow dreams how can i work with my shadow self I should be a fucking psychic. <laughs> it's right there in the book. <laughs> we talked about it from the beginning. Yeah, boo. What are my deepest dreams and insights sharing? Oh, they say astrological is Pisces. Interesting. Gemstones, kinite, labradorite, moonstone. Okay, labradorite, right here, boo. Put it and meditate. Okay, and the amethyst as well will help you. As one of the dreamiest and most mysterious cards of the tarot, the moon invites us to explore the depths of our subconscious and the sacred landscapes of our imagination. Although typically described as a key of disillusionment, it is not without its silver linings. These can indicate the powerful sparks of inspiration and feed invention, creativity, and intuitive wisdom which connects us to a much deeper place of spirit. Since the moon also reveals the watery undercurrent of our shadow thoughts, and feelings it embodies the recesses of our minds which we tend to keep hidden from others oh my god uh, as well as the deeper insecurities that plague our emotions yeah so this is growth so this is great okay I, I, and like it, it it's a good thing it's not a bad thing it's a good thing okay um However, it sometimes doesn't always feel super good when you're going through it, right? And so you're like, how is this a good thing? This is more, more shit. And it's like, well, yes, technically it is more shit, but it's like we got to go through this in order for us to be able to grow and evolve, okay? Let's get three cards for career and finance. See if this is just an overall. I, I really feel like this is this is part of you because you are ascending, okay? There's a big spiritual growth happening for you, Aries, and when big spiritual growth happens, we have to face the demons. Also, if you're not following me on IG, go follow me over there. I am going to be posting over on TikTok and Instagram, um, working with the shadow self, okay, and doing shadow work the lovers a choice oh, i fucking love the lovers in this tarot deck i need to tell you that i do love it okay let's get two more please uh but this is career and finances uh we'll talk about the lovers in just a minute um you know shadow work so the post i have on ig was supposed to be up like two weeks ago and i literally like oh they flip 
Okay, so we got some extras here. So we got Ace of Wands, the Hermet, and the Two of Swords. Whoa. The Two of Swords is a bit of a creepy card. Ooh. Your mind, baby. You gotta clear that mind, okay? Um, if you are drinking, if you are partaking in like any type of like substances, alcohol, weed, whatever, um, I'm not saying don't do that stuff. Like, duh, you're an adult, do whatever you want to do. Um, however, maybe now is the time to shift a little bit off of that, okay? Um, and start focusing more on um, health, okay? Because I do feel like some of this energy has to do with the things that you are consuming. Okay, there's also this big call for you to work on your solar plexus. So get some pyrite, okay? Put it about two to three fingers on top of your belly button, smack it right there, okay? And meditate with it to help you, okay? Carnelian as well will help that sacral and bloodstone for grounding, all right? So why I love the lover's card in this deck is because the woman is pregnant. Can you tell I really want another baby? Um, and they are so in love this is like ephedral beautiful love i don't even feel like this is choice this is birth to me this is the birth of something new okay this is an opportunity to grow something in your career to potentially connect with the divine and give birth to a new either job um a new offering in your business a new way for you to be able to attract money into your life okay uh, maybe supplemental income all right and um, we got the ace of wands okay a fiery passionate new beginning and all of this is the career of finances um I am going to say that this that you are giving birth to, okay, this idea that you are giving birth to, you have so much passion and fire and vigor behind it, okay? You know exactly how and what you want to do to be able to see it grow. However, there's that. However, two things. One, you got to hermit. There's still some stuff that you need to do, things that you need to go inside to review. You do have a lot of major arcana, the lovers, the moon, the hermit, okay? There's, there's again, there's that purple energy. Things in your subconscious that you need to receive downloads. And that's what I'm saying, get clear on the food you're eating because the less junky stuff you eat, the clearer you get in your messaging and how the divine can connect with you, okay? Yes, they are correlated, okay? Um, then the two of swords. I'm undecided. And like this imagery is triggering for me. Look at her face. It, it's, it, I'm going to be really real. Your fucking ego is playing some serious motherfucking games with you. Your ego is like, I'm going to keep you trapped. I'm going to keep you blocked. I don't want you to grow. Meanwhile, your true authentic self and your higher self is saying, I don't know why I was shuffling. I wasn't even ready. Your higher self is saying, I'm, yes, I'm here for it. I'm ready for growth. I'm ready for expansion. I'm ready to give birth to a new idea. I'm ready for this inflow of money to come through me. I'm ready for collaboration. I'm ready to be vulnerable. And then, and then your ego is like, no, you're not. And so there's that shadow work, right? And figuring out a way how to tell your ego to shut the fuck up. All right. Let's get three more cards for love and romance. You don't like that I swear you can click right off. Sometimes I swear a lot. Sometimes I never swear. It's just how the message is coming through. And in this case, I felt like, you know, the swearing was adding something to this reading. Three cards for love and romance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for October. <gasps> Poo -poo. I always wonder how funny I look when I'm making these faces as I'm trying to pick up these cards. Temperance, paciencia, niños. Okay, patience, baby, patience. Patience is the name of the game when it comes to your love life. Okay, alchemy, balance, restoring balance into your life. Okay, oh my gosh, all these cards flying out. Um, temperance is Sagittarian energy. The moon is Pisces. Uh, lovers is Gemini energy. Okay, the hermit is Virgo. All right, then we got the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're just, and the two of pentacles. You're just... This is a month for you, Aries, of self-growth. The Nine of Pentacles, so extremely comfortable, confident, living her life. She's good. She's good being solo. 
She's comfortable being solo, okay? She knows that she has to do this work as part of her evolution and her growth, but she also knows that like, what's the word? They, they gotta come correct. A man or a woman that comes into your life needs to come correct or else you're not taking it. You're like, no, no thank you. I don't, I don't have time for this. I already got all this other shit I'm dealing with. I don't got time for this. The two of pentacles in love. You, you. Some of you may have a decision, okay, um, that lovers there's also keeps calling out to me, even though it's in the, in the career and finances, it's, it's almost like, and the temperance is like, some of you might have a couple of situationships that you are currently in right now. And so you're getting some type of um, clarity or figuring out how to move forward with, um, with this, okay? But overall, I do get this energy like your money, your career, your life, you is at the forefront. And right now you just, you don't, you, you don't have the energy space to give it to anybody else. And that is perfectly fine. Okay. You have to understand that like when you want to get into a relationship, you need to be able to be of clear mind and sound. No one's saying you have to be perfect. Like that doesn't exist, but you also can't walk into a relationship if like your headspace isn't good. You know, and then it's just going to be a karmic or toxic relationship and it's going to end up fucking adding more shit into your life. You don't want that anymore. Wax and crescent, inspiration, creativity, growth, accomplishment, learning. All right, so what are we in? So wax is when we're going, oh yeah, because we're going into the full moon October 1st. So today's uh, September 21st. I'm posting this tomorrow, right? September 21st today? Right? Am I right? Yes. So I'm posting this tomorrow, September 22nd. So from now until the um, full moon, I would encourage you to really work on manifesting, asking the universe to illuminate the shadow work that you need to go through in order to be able to help your own growth and your own evolution. This is like, you know, this is, this is a powerful month of you coming into your own, okay? And realizing that like, no bitch, you're not perfect. You might be the boss, but you're not perfect. Okay, then we got courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Very much so, okay? Being courageous, knowing that dealing with the with the shadow self, man, like having having the guts or the courage to face that shadow self will just empower you and support your growth so much more um, than if you continue to live an unconscious life. Okay. So you got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going at the bottom of the deck and then heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah. Some of you are definitely like making a decision maybe to walk away from both people or maybe to like keep one or the other. And others of you are just being really real with your heart. Okay. What, what are my values? What do I want in a relationship? What do I not want? Okay. Now get clear on that and now move forward with that energy. All right, Aries, thank you so much for watching this. If you want to book a private, check out the description box. Thank you for all your comments, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations. I really, really appreciate you. Come check me out on TikTok and Instagram. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out.